This is Terrence Andre Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions, coming to you with an article about job security. And in this day and age where employment is so such a necessary thing, and even though they're claiming the lowest unemployment rates ever, it's really something to be mindful of when you can't find employment. And if you ever find yourself in that position, this article may give you some insight. And it's actually going from a different perspective. Is there really such a thing as job security? Those days, in my personal opinion, are over. Uh, that was an adage from the baby boomer age, and people still hoping for that particular space and time. But we don't live there anymore. And this article really caught my attention. By, it comes from richdad.com, Robert Kiyosaki, one of my favorite authors. Um, and I'm going to get dive right into it so you can get some insights and, and just think about things differently because we live in the information age and things are completely different than what it was before. Why being employed is the riskiest thing you can do in today's economy. Is there really such a thing as job security? This time of the year when young people are graduating from college and getting ready to enter into workforce, without a doubt, most of the new graduates out there are hoping to find their first job and start their chosen career, as they should. Most likely have been told that the road to a secure financial future is to go to a good school and get a, a good job. I was talking to a, actually I was talking to a recent college graduate and that's that the mindset has still been programmed the same way. Uh, even though the, the massive amount of debt that they've taken on to receive the education, it's it's still that particular focus. Uh, and and I, I understand, and education is important. It's just the way we're going about it, could there be a different mindset in how we choose to approach education? And approach education, is it applicable to what we're doing and what's going to come in the upcoming future? I digress there, but let me go back there. No raises for you. You've heard the term job security. Job security is a myth. It's a nice settlement from a different age. The reality is that to be an employee in today's economy is to be in the riskiest position of all. Uh, it's powerful to be said. If you've ever been fired or you've been laid off and you're not really worried, <laughs> it really would speak to you, especially because you've been, especially if it's at no fault of your own. I was watching recently and at Toys R Us, they, they were going uh, because they didn't feel like they were getting a a nice, uh, not, not nice enough settlement. They were not getting a settlement because of the way things were done. They were protesting. Uh, it was not really that much covered, but it it does bring mention to his point here. This has maybe been the riskiest position of all. In a rare candid embracing talk, new source Axios reports that executives at top U.S. companies got honest about the financial outlook for their employees. The message is that Americans should stop waiting for across the board pay hikes. Considering with higher corporate profit to cash in, workers will need to shift to higher skilled jobs that command more income. And this is where the education comes in because people believe, hey, if I get more education, I can then, um, you know, command a, a higher wage. The truth is you, what, that can be an adage, but we're, what about the technology? And is that a way that how much education you continue going on, how much at a cost is it going to be for you to do that? Um, in the talk, executives discuss how they plan to fire many of the employees and replace them with automation. Here we go. I mentioned automation. It's already talking to that. They also say the days of getting cost of living raises are gone. Instead of the, on the most irreplaceable employees, we'll see an increase until they are replaceable too. The message couldn't be clearer. Don't expect more money and be glad you even have a job. This despite many corporations enjoying good record profits. The good grades, good job myth. To those who are now just now graduate con and who probably worked hard to get good grades so they could get a good job, I want to wish you congratulations. That's nice. I also want to offer some free advice. Don't bank your financial future on working for someone else. Hmm. To many, many people have gotten good grades, but there are fewer and fewer safe, secure jobs, and even fewer with benefits like pensions. Many people, even those with good grades, need to mind their own business and not just look for a job where they will mind someone else's business. I can understand the law of what appears to be security, but as you see from the executives of our biggest companies, there is no job security. Instead, you need to lean to learn to make your own way in the world. Naturally, you might view this as the, the risky way, but it's not. The really risky side. The cash flow quadrant is a simple diagram. It's broken into four quadrants. I'm not going to go on that now, but just continue reading. On the left side of the quadrant are employees and self-employed, those who sell their time and skills like consultants. On the right side are business owners and investors. Those on the left side of the quadrant are the most risk, are at the most risk because they have no control and lose the most and lose the most money to taxes and inflation. 
Those on the right, even though they are traditionally viewed as the riskiest, are actually the most secure because they do have control and can use taxes and inflation to their advantage. Well said. I still have some friends who seek security as employees or self-employed. The left side of the quadrant, as mentioned, I believe that side of the quadrant is actually the riskiest side. If people see what I see when I travel the world, they would not be looking for more security. Security is a myth. I'm going to repeat that again. Security is a myth. The trajectory for employees' incomes is not good. And when there are bad economic times, it's the employees who lose their job, the business owners, not the business owners. Learn something new and take on this brave new world. Don't hide from it. As we've seen with Toys R Us and a lot of the retail spaces, it's the business owners are not as affected as much as the employees. It's also risky for the self-employed. If they get sick or injured, the income is directly impacted. As I get older, I meet more self-employed people my age who are physically, mentally, emotionally burned out from hard work. That's true, too. Uh, a lot of times we're coming into the age with self-employment with those. In, but if you're only dependent on you doing all the work, you, you, the situation becomes, you know, put yourself in a risky position because if you get hurt or get sick, the, the business can't continue on itself. Becoming an investor and becoming a um, thinking of, and creating business opportunities, maybe like internet marketing or creating a website or something like that can bring income in without you doing, uh, without you being there or continue to operate without you having to physically do something is the way to go. But that's to be skilled to taught. And as I mentioned in other videos, I'm going to be talking more about that and bringing things that I've studied and, and learned that will be of some value. The, but let's continue on with the reason. The article, it's also risky for the self-employed if they got sick or injured. Their income is directly impacted. As I get older, the more self-employed people my age who are physically, mentally, emotionally burned out from hard work. I just read this. The more fatigue a person endures, the less secure they become. And the risk of having an accident also goes up. As the march of technology like automation continues at an ever-increasing pace, employees in the self-employed have to constantly be trained to keep up and stay relevant in the job market. My thoughts have been, if you're going to re-educate anyway, why not spend some time educating yourselves on the skills needed to become a business owner or investor, the right side of the cash flow quadrant? It makes an excellent point here. If you're going to get educated, you might as well learn some of those different skills. The real, the really secure side. The irony is that life, oh, he's got his pop-up booking up. The irony is that the life on the right side of the quadrant, the one viewed by most people as most was more risky, is actually more secure. For example, if you have a secure system that produces more and more money with less and less work, then you really don't need a job or need to worry about losing your job. To make your money, you simply expand the system and hire more people. That gives you the opportunity to expand your means so you can enjoy all that life has to offer. People have, who are high level investors aren't concerned about the market going up or down because their knowledge allows them to make money in either situation. And if their market crashes for the foreseeable future, which I believe there will be, many baby boomers will panic and lose much of the money they had for retirement. If that happens in their old age, instead of retiring, they'll have to work for as long as they can. How is that security? Can't argue with that. Professional investors are people who risk little of their own money and yet still make the highest returns. The people who know little about investing takes the risk and earns the least return. From my point of view, all the risk is on the left side of the quash flow quadrant. If you want to learn how to move from the left side of the quash flow quadrant to your right side, today is the day to start. Increase your financial education, expand your mindset, and see the opportunities before you. Start investing in financial security today. Article had a lot of chock full of good just points. Um, it's a process, guys, and articles like this at least get you in the mindset that, hey, I need to do things differently. Take a look at him. Leave the uh, take a look at his article. Look at the other article that he mentioned in here at your leisure. I'm going to put the links in the description for you to take a look at. But think differently. Um, think about doing something for yourself and not being so dependent on someone who can then change your whole financial future by just. A phone call and sometimes even in the phone call uh, just find you on the spot so until my next video if this video has been any value please subscribe leave some comments I'm out